Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week, and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. And the floodlights are shining down on the players here in the Spanish capital of Madrid. We're at the Bernabeu. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And with the start of the league season just days away now, we have action from the curtain raiser for you to enjoy. It's Real Madrid up against Real Sociedad. Well, Derek, last chance to evaluate these two teams before the start of the season. How fit are they? Are there any new tactical developments? How are any new players fitted in? It should be a really interesting game. the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Well, what you see is the centre forward dropping deep into midfield and the wide players making runs into the space he vacates. But that only causes a problem if the opposition get dragged out of position. However, they do play it well, you have to say. So the starting 11 for Real Sociedad. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. A potentially absorbing contest as Real Madrid get things going. De Ligt. Teo Hernandez. Attacking possibilities for Real. Valverde. It's there for him. Oh, surely! Brilliantly blocked! Not able to put it behind for what will be a corner here. Over it comes. Now well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Lucas Vasquez. Could cross it in here. And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and it's a comfortable finish at the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. underway 1-0 it is <laughs> Uros Bracic well they keep working away looking for an opening and it goes to square the game what a contest this is turning Well, it's a good finish, as you can see. Look at the bend he puts on the ball. The keeper just can't get across to it. That's an excellent goal. Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. 
Well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Cabral. Well, they've lost the ball. Vinicius Junior. Federico Valverde. Vinicius! Well, good effort, but he's placed it wide. Barenicea. Can they create something from here? But really sticking to the task defensively. Rodrigo. Let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Yaramendi Urosh Racic Barenecea Now with Paqueta Racic It's got to be! Oh, brilliant goalkeeping! Vinicius Junior Be a corner. Lucas Paqueta. And in possession, Yanazai. Tremendous ball played through. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. And he saw the situation developing. The cross is on. Decent position. Now a decent position. On to Paqueta. Tremendous reflexes. Thibaut Courtois. Let's see about the delivery. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. And that is that half-time here in the Spanish capital. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Modibo Sagnon. Barenechea. Can he finish? And a fantastic diving save. Lucas Paqueta. Barenechea. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Burosh Racic. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Oh, 
Well, that is how to run at defenders. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing, there for all to see. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Paqueta. Now do they mean business on this occasion? It's got to be! Oh, a fantastic save! But the offside flag has gone up and it grinds to a halt. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Could reduce the deficit. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. And using his body to good effect. And he clears it out of harm's way. They've regained possession. Iaramendi had a chance to whip it in here. And take it away. He won the ball. And the counter attack is on. Options available. He's in behind. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So on they go again, and every indication that Real are going to stroll to victory here. Lucas Paqueta. It's still alive, and there it is! An almost intuitive piece of finishing. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Adnan Yanuzai. Sam Maxima has it. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. The pressure was on the keeper following the threaded pass. Good defending. A really effective shielding under pressure. Marco Asensio. Oh, he's through here. And a goal to settle the issue once and for all.
the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, but I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. Vladimir Kuval, Uros Racic. And that's it, official now. Real Madrid have made it to the final. Well, the result was never in doubt, was it? They controlled the game from start to finish, they created numerous chances, and they dictated the tempo. A very comfortable win for them in the end. Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. It is true to say there's no love lost between these two sides, Real Madrid and Barcelona. And today they find themselves on a collision course here at the Bernabeu. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position. Sitting alongside me, ready to provide expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. Stuart, it's a privilege to be here. Well, it certainly is, Derek. This is a bitter rivalry between two of Europe's best, and I just can't wait for this one. It should be an absolute classic. the starting 11 for Real Madrid well we talk about this false number nine position but really he's just an attacking midfield player the penetration comes from the wide players who make runs from outside to in done well it can be devastating well this is what we think for Barcelona Mark and Reiter Stegen starts in goal. Frenkie de Jong plays with Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the pitch. And the focal point in attack today, Timo Werner.
And they kick off here. Vinicius Junior. Could play it in. Rodrigo. And they've given him too much space. Federico Valverde. And he read it well defensively. Goretzka. He's blocked it. Immense focus on Niklas Zule prior to this game. Facing his former club, facing his past. And that's not always straightforward, is it, Stuart? Well, it can work either way. Some players are inspired and play really well. Some feel overawed. I hope for his sake it's the first. Real find themselves in a position of minute. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. underway, 1-0 it is given away by Barcelona and the emphasis is on creativity will it happen for them? Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Milinkovic Savic, Ansu Fati. Well read to win possession back. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Milinkovic Savic, well, he really read that brilliantly. Lucas Vasquez. And Valverde. Rodrigo. And threading it forward. And they could do damage. And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So the action continues, and Real very much bossing the proceedings. Werner. Will it be? And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Kevin De Bruyne with the corner. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. De Jong, not out of the woods yet, and there is... 
it is! An almost intuitive piece of finishing. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper because he makes a very good save to start with. Where are his defenders following in? It's the attackers that get there first, and it's a very good finish. Well, there it is. 3-1, the current scoreline here. A lovely incisive pass. Oh, a finish of real class! No wonder he's celebrating! Take a bow! Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And the finish is so clever. He just gets his toe under the ball and thinks it over the keeper. That's a lovely goal. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. It looks promising. And Valverde. How about the cross? And the keeper taking it cleanly. Dembele. Dembele. Timo Werner. There it is. A fantastic goal. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Fine use of the ball. Goretzka. Lucas Vasquez. Must be! That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Alessandro Bastoni. Can he play it in? Milinkovic Savic going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Dembele, well, he didn't miss by all that much. Wide in the end. Now sending it in. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Vinicius Junior. Can he put it away? He's blocked it. And that is that half time here in the Spanish capital. Well, underway once more, and Barcelona facing an uphill climb after the events of the first 45. Wagge and Barca moving the ball with purpose. Able to get a body in the way. Can he get one back? Really digging in at the back. And he didn't hesitate. Good thing, too. Well, he's so quick off his line. That's great goalkeeping, you have to say.
Well, we have a mouth-watering tussle from La Liga coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Real Madrid. Tremendous reflexes, Thibaut Courtois. Substitution for Real Madrid. in by De Bruyne goalkeeper's ball it was always going to be that way and it is substitution time at this juncture not just from one side but from both an exciting La Liga match in prospect here on EA TV it's Barcelona and they'll be up against Osasuna well that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium space for them here how about the cross Goretzka chance here and a goal to seal the hat-trick a master class in finishing just can't stop him today well that was a fairly easy finish in the end but he still had to take it he won't mind how they come though Brandt with it. And teammates to play it to. But strong play here on the shielding front. Can he finish this? And in! Oh yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, here it is again. And the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. Golden. Not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. And he takes it away. That's what you call defending from the front. Oh, and it goes! Another goal! And I'll tell you what, the impossible is becoming quite possible. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. And the danger clear. Good looking move, this. Well, then there to tidy up. Valverde. No let up in the pressing department. Frankie de Jong. Brandt. De Bruyne now. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. And they will make the change now. really 
intense pressure applied. Brandt. He's got to score! Oh, what a great save to keep them in front. Well, he's just about won them the game here. Great stop. And De Bruyne firing is over. Rifled against the post, but back in play. Brandt. This is looking threatening. Werner. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. A neat move. Oh, a smart save, and that keeps them in with a chance. Well, there's still a bit of time left. Can this inspire them to go and get the equaliser? Can someone get on the end of this? And an effective clearance. Lucas Vasquez. Strong play here on the shielding front. A good looking ball in behind. We had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. Frankie de Jong. Barcelona fighting against this overall situation. What can they pull out of the fire? High quality goalkeeping, and still they lead. Well, that's a great save. That could be the match winning stop there. Werner. And now Brandt just made sure nothing came of that. And full time, the issue is settled. It's one to put on their honours list. Well, Derek, they'll be pleased with this. They deserve their win today. They were certainly the better team. It was a good performance. First piece of silverware, and that is never to be sniffed at as the players applaud the fans who have been backing them today. Well, they came here to win it, and that's exactly what they've done. And it's another trophy. Now for the trophy lift. And I've spoken to a number of hardened pros down the years about this, Stuart. They've all said, don't take this for granted. Savour these moments. Well, you're absolutely right, Derek. This is a lovely moment for everybody at the club, fans included. They've certainly played their part, as you mentioned. And now the players posing for the images that will be sent around the world. And they'll certainly enjoy these moments. And then it's back to business straight away. But well played to them. They deserved it today.
Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. It's very much a temple of football, the Santiago Bernabeu, right here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Real Madrid facing Villarreal. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. reason to believe this is going to be something special at the Bernabeu and they get the ball rolling Pau Torres Marcos Llorente has it Teo Hernandez moving forward effectively Vinicius crossing into the middle an early goal it is the ideal opening. Well, here's the replay, and you just have to admire the patience of the passing as they look for that defence-splitting ball, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be Yusef and Naziri Ontiveros Schlager and space to cross it well a respectable header Stuart goal kick well the contact was good but he just gets underneath it that was a decent effort Here's Rafinha, Youssef and Naziri. Good work to regain possession. And that puts them in position. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing, drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, here's the replay. The pass over the top has just the right amount of pace on it, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So, 2-0 now. Kakere. Now can they make something happen? He's got the right idea with that pass. And there is the goal! Well, that changes the equation, and they have the momentum now.
Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Well underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Marcos Llorente, attacking possibilities for Real. Valverde, and getting across to stop it. Sending it in, foiling them effectively. Ryan Grafenberg, Vinicius Jr., Lucas Vasquez, and it's in! Real Madrid firmly in charge here. Really good awareness of the situation. He just places that beyond the keeper. That's a top class finish. So there it is 3 1 the current scoreline here. And apologies to Alex for having to cut her off. Just to confirm, Athletic Bilbao did score in that game, and they now hold a 1-0 lead. This looks promising. And still looking for space. Making sure it didn't get past him. Schlager. Kakere. Here's Rafinha. Could be threatening. Could reduce the deficit. And he does. There is hope for them, despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. Well, the action underway once more, and no shortage of entertainment. 3-2. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. Second half excitement to come, we hope, here at the Bernabeu. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Who can they pick out? The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, they can bring it out now. Ontiveros. On the ball, Schlager. Will he play it in? Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Well, pressing really high. Vinicius Junior. Grafenberg. Oh, great vision. Oh, it's been kept out magnificently by Sergio Asenjo.
Substitution for Real Madrid. Playing it in. Well, no end product. Has eyes for goal! And nearly extending the lead. Well, it wasn't quite the finish he was looking for. He just couldn't quite keep it on target. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Just 20 minutes remaining now. At times they make passing look easy. Space and time for the cross. Can he get them level? Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Teo Hernandez. Vinicius Junior. I must say, this looks promising. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. And it's in! Real Madrid firmly in charge here. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. to keep possession now we're inside the final 15 minutes Marco Asensio wonderfully weighted pass Goretzka Llorente and the flag is up offside well that's just a lack of awareness he was clearly in an offside position now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Hector Bellerin. And Alex is going to give us an update on the game at the San Mamés. There's been a goal there. Yeah, it's a goal for Bilbao. It was an early cross which found him in acres of space. And it was a beautiful headed finish. They're ahead by three now with 79 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Spot on with that tackle. Well, the counter chance looks very real. really well as you can see but you'd expect him to score from that range but they all count well if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome surely they now have been removed well, a scoring update to bring you from the Real Sociedad game. Alex Scott has all the information for us. Yeah, another goal for Sevilla. It's now 2-1 with 83 minutes on the clock. Thanks for the update, Alex. Lucas Vasquez. Here is Marco Asensio. And that pass could be troublesome. And a good save. Well, it is a good save. The idea was good. The execution wasn't.
Good looking ball. Dangerous ball. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. And there's the full-time whistle, maximum points for Real Madrid. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance.